miracle of miracles, we've just created a tree. Well, not a real tree, but out of a sea stand, we've made an object here like would be a tree that you had to go around on the golf course. And instead of having to just pitch the ball down there to the right and then pitch on the green, why not curve the ball around the tree? And that's what we're going to show you two different ways to do it. One is what we call pre-shaping the shot, and the other way is to fix the club and your stance in a position that it just kind of happens automatically. One is active and one is kind of passive, two different styles. Let's take the active way first. What I'm going to do is I'm 150 yards from the green. Now normally for me that's a seven iron, but because I'm going to take the club face and I'm going to close it down like this in the swing, in other words by rotating over, it's going to go a little farther. So I'm taking an 8-iron for this distance. And when it hits, it's going to have a little more roll, not so much backspin. So I'm taking less club to go the distance. Now here's what pre-shaping is. Pre-shaping is setting the club so that when you have it here out in front of you, you determine by the club face position what the ball's going to do. Now if I want to slice it or fade it, which we're going to do in a minute, I let my left arm leave my side like this and the club face never turns over. In other words, what we do is we set the thumb over here at a two o'clock position and that's where we're going to go to fade it around the tree. Now to hook it around the tree, we bring it to a 10 o'clock position right there. So I hold it over there for my little count of 10 and then I go to my shot. I aim out to the right a little bit toward those bunkers and now I'm going to take my swing again and feel that position. There it is. That's the little draw right there. That's a little draw around these trees right up there on the green. So let's let it happen. Pre-shaping the shot by just feel. Here she comes right around and hits on the green. Kick a little left. Not bad. It's a lot better than laying up short. So now we're going to take it another way. Same right to left shot but do it in a different manner. We're going to do it by pre-setting the club face and my aim and just taking a standard swing with my normal release without having to go over at 10 o'clock, just my 12 o'clock release. So it looks like this. I'm aiming out at the bunkers again, but I take the club face and I turn it in this much, like that. I turn it, the amount, so that the face is facing where I want the ball to finish. That's just what I've done. It's facing where I want it to finish. Then I put my normal grip on. Now see how close that face is? Now we come up to the ball, take our normal swing at the bunkers, Relax our hands so they're released and the ball will curve right around those trees. Here it comes, right around the trees, over onto the green again, up there to make a putt. So that's two ways that we use to shape the ball. This time hooking it, one by pre-setting it beforehand down here, the other by setting it up here in what we call a 10 o'clock position. Now I'm going to work the other way. We're going to fade the ball around this tree, beautiful tree. I don't know what kind it is. I've never seen it before, but we're going to shape the ball around it going the other way. Let the ball cut around from left to right because the face is going to be open since when I come through, I'm holding out here. I'm pre-shaping it by holding it at the 2 o'clock position. So pull with your left, hold on, squeeze the club a little bit so it doesn't release, and this is what the shot looks like. Cut it out there right around that tree. Here she comes back and on the green. That one might be make for a birdie. All right, let's take the last one here with the other style. And the other style is to preset it. Now I aim my body well out to the left. I set the club down so that the face looks this way open and it's facing right where the target is. So I'm swinging well to the left, so I'm gonna start it. I'm not gonna make sure I push in the trees. I wanna get it wide of the trees set my face down here, it's pointing at the flag right now, and now I'm going to swing it hard again with my left arm and let the ball cut up there. There we go, around the trees, up, on the green, and wow, got another birdie putt.